For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record. like an underpass ahead of us. Let's see what she sounds like. <laughs> She's not super loud, but still sounds good. I love the blow off valve. I usually am not really into that kind of stuff, but this is it's pretty cool. I gotta admit, it's pretty cool. So here we are back at VMP. Let's run in the shop, see what's up with my F-150, and then also pick up my V-Box. Look at that, they got a Mustang up on the dyno. Sweet. All right, so here we are in the shop. Let's take a quick look at the truck here and uh, see where they're at in the process. I was just talking to Donnie here who's actually working on my truck. They're waiting for an EVAP hose before they put the actual blower on. And, uh, yeah, it actually looks a little cleaner now when like the intake's out and all that stuff. I yeah, mean, yeah. Dirt. So I got to do uh, plugs and we'll clean up the okay. valve covers and whatnot to make it look a little pretty for you when it's yeah. all done. I appreciate that, brother, man. I'm so excited about this. Oh, it's, it's going to be sure. awesome. Mine supercharged is a lot of fun. Next video you guys see on the channel, not this one right here, but the next video, it's all about uh, the truck because the blower will be on. We're going to do dyno tests. We're going to freaking rip on the streets of Smyrna, do all kinds of cool stuff. 
But, let me see here. I gotta get my, uh, where is it? I think I, there it is. V-Box, let's do some Sierra to 60 in the Focus RS. All right, we have the V-Box hooked up. We're just gonna try it. Obviously that was my first time even trying to do something like this in a Focus RS. Now the car has two-step, as you guys noticed. It also has launch control, but I don't think I'll get a better launch with launch control since it has two-step. All you do is just floor it and drop the clutch and it grips instantly. I mean, it grips well. I don't know if my shifting was optimal, but we'll, we'll try it here one more time. All right, come to a complete stop. So what do you guys think of this car here? I mean, I know we did a quick little walk around yesterday, but for those of you who didn't see that, this is a Focus RS with over $20,000 in mods. Matte black wrap, Ford Star wheels, carbon fiber all over the place. The hood, we got a splitter, the roof lip, whatever you call that thing, the spoiler. And then if we pop the uh, hatch here, we see the compressor in the back. This is obviously what controls the air ride suspension. So here's the remote for the airlift suspension. You can see the current PSI. We double click on this button right here. The car slams to the ground. And then you double click again. You can hear the compressor in the back. And we're back to uh, normal ride height. I mean, it's still low, but normal ride height. But here's something I've been wondering about since I came here to Smyrna. Can you drive a Focus RS on bags? on the beach. We're gonna find out. Focus RS, beach. <laughs> so the only kind of boring thing here is we can unfortunately not do uh, two step launches and go faster than 10 miles an hour, but we're still driving a Focus RS. On the beach, ladies and gentlemen, on the beach. I don't know how many Focus RS's that's been on the beach. <laughs> Yeah, imagine if this was an actual highway. This is what you drove on. The beach, and you can look at the ocean at the same time. That would be pretty freaking cool, I gotta say. It's the first time I'm ever driving on a beach. I never thought the first time would be in a Focus RS. But there's a first time for everything. I think I'm speeding, I'm doing 20. It's 10 miles an hour here, but oh well. All right, so I think this is where we have to turn around. Look how close the water is here. 
But I don't want to go up this way. I want to go back that way. See, he's driving a truck like he should be driving on the beach. I'm driving a Focus RS. So how do you not stop here and take a photo of the car? Got to do that. Follow me on Instagram and check these photos out. Honestly, I feel like the tide is coming. Look how close the water is. We got to get out of here. Ooh, second gear. So VMP, when you see this, please don't be mad at me. I definitely kept it under 55 the whole time. And this was such an awesome time. I'm so grateful for them for lending me this car. I mean, they didn't have to do that, but they were nice enough to do it. And I've had a great day with the Focus RS. It looks good on the beach. I gotta say, it looks pretty good on the beach. I wish I could do a two-step launch from here. This surface is actually pretty hard packed. It is initially a rally car, so it is supposed to be able to take something like this, but it's not my car. If it was my car, I'd still try and do a little, little launch, but you know, VMP is all over the car here. I don't want to make them look bad. I think it's pretty cool that people come to the beach, park their cars on the beach, and then like go sit down. This dude's about to go fishing. Yeah, it's pretty nice. But the view, check out the view. Awesome. Oh, watch out there, little sandpiper. Okay, so we say goodbye to the beach for now, but I'm definitely taking the truck back here. Probably tomorrow, maybe. Maybe tomorrow we'll take the truck back here, at least for some photos. All right, so we're back at the hotel here. It's been an awesome day with the RS. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Again, big thanks to VMP for lending me this awesome car for the day. So tomorrow, we go and pick up my newly supercharged F-150. Uh, said that a million times. I am very excited for that. I hope you guys are as well. I also hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. If you did, you know what to do. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. For the record.